Hello friends, welcome to Truth of Physics. In this video, I will discuss on the Maxwell's velocity distribution function. That is, I will discuss on the expressions, the various expressions of the Maxwell's velocity distribution for 1D, 2D and 3D cases. So, uh, as I think that you have a, a basic understanding of the Maxwell's distribution function. So, okay. So, we know that the number of molecules, number of gas molecules uh, in a given range, suppose V to V plus dV, the velocity range V, V from V to D, V plus dV, the number of gas molecules in this range, in this velocity range will be equals to the total number of gas molecules N into the function of the velocity, some kind of function of the velocity into dvx that is the interval the velocity interval the interval of the velocity so this is the basic thing okay now uh, here you have to understand two things that is dn by n the quantity dn by n this is this is what this is the fraction of molecules or this is called also the probability okay so f of v dv this is the probability. The probability of finding a particle in a given range of V to V plus dV. This is this. Okay. Now, the uh, what happens in three dimension? So first, I am uh, starting with the three dimension. So, so this part, this part is what the. Uh, so if we imagine this in three dimension, then in three dimension, uh, imagine that we have a gas molecule in three dimension. So this gas molecule have three components of velocity. That is V x, suppose x component of velocity, V y and V z. Okay. Now, so the probability of finding a particle in a given range V x to V x plus d V x. That is, we are considering only the x direction x component that that is what the probability of finding that particle will be that is dnx suppose i am denoting with dnx over n okay is equals to this is only the x component okay so dnx by n is equals to f of vx dvx similarly for y component this will be uh, the probability will be d uh, f of vy into dvy for z component, this will be f of vz dz, dvz. Now, you can easily understand that from the concept of probability, you can say that the probability, so these are these three things are what I am, uh, I am repeating the statement that this is what the probability of finding a particle in a given range v x to v plus d v x the velocity range this is what the probability of finding that particle in the velocity range v d v v y to d v y and similarly this is v z to d v z so the probability of finding the particle in the three components of velocity the probability of finding the particle in vx from vx to vx plus dvx from vy to v, uh, y plus dvy and from vz to vz plus dvz all the three combinations all the three components i am now uh, discussing the three components that is in 3d so the so the probability of this kind the probability of finding that particle in three dimension in three dimension three component range three component of velocity range that will be what the the probability now the probability will be what the multiplication of these three probabilities as we know from the concept of probability right this happens always in probability in case of probability the uh, total probability will be what the multiplication of the individual probabilities because these three things are distinct the probability this probability the component of the uh, x component probability is not dependent on the y and z similarly the y uh, component probability is not dependent on the x and z so the probability the whole probability of a particle in three dimension will be the multiplication of the three so the probability of finding a particle dn by n the probability of finding a particle in that given range vx to uh, what i have stated that thing that is in three dimension in the three velocity components that is in three dimension the probability will be 
एफ ऑफ पी एक्स डी वी एक्स एफ ऑफ दिस थ्री थिंग्स मल्टीप्लाई दैट इज एफ ऑफ वी एक्स एफ ऑफ वी वाई एफ ऑफ वी जेड इन टू डी वी एक्स डी वी वाई एंड डी वी जेड ओके सो the number of particles in that range the number of particles in the range of vx to vx plus dvx from vy to vy plus dvy from vz to vz plus dvz will be what equals to the we have to we have to multiply with n that is the number of such molecules dn is equals to n into f of vx f of vy and f of vz dvx dvy dv set so this is the number of molecules now in three dimensional case of what happens now if you have studied the three dimensional uh, maxwell's velocity distribution uh, theory that you can easily understand that in the theory the f of x comes out to be f of x is equals to a e to the power minus b v x square similarly f of v y will be what a to the power minus b v y square and similarly v z will be so if we put the things so what will be this a into uh, for three parts the contribution will be a cube the total contribution will be a cube and e to the power minus b v x square into e to the power minus b v y square so all these things i can uh, step jump here and write vx square plus vy square plus vz square right now what is this we know that in three dimensional in three dimension v will be what root over of vx square plus vy square uh, vy square plus vz square so v square will be just this so i can write this will be a n into a cube e to the power minus b v square now what is the value of a and b here the value of a i think that you know that uh, what is the value of a the value of a is a n into the uh, and here is dvx dvy and dvz okay so this have to be uh, put here dvx dvy and dvz so dvx dvy dvz so the uh, this will be a cube will be m by 2 pi kt half whole to the power half this is the value of a m by 2 pi kvt whole to the power half so uh, here is a 3 so 3 by 2 into e to the power minus b into m by 2 kt whole to the power, whole square into v square so we know that in three dimension the volume element that is reveals dvy and dvz what is it it is a volume element in the three dimension in three dimension a volume element can be written like the uh, 4 pi r into dr in this form 4 pi r into dr right so here this is not r because it is in uh, velocity space so 4 pi v into dv this will be the volume element that is denoted by this so this will be 4 pi uh, v into dv 4 pi v into dv so from here i can write that this will be what 4 pi so this will be what 4 pi n m by 2 pi kbt whole to the power 3 by 2 e to the power minus v into m by 2 kt v square Into v, uh, here will be v. This will be four pi v square into dv, as the volume element is four uh, pi r square into v dr, uh, the infinitesimal volume in three D. Four pi v square into dv. So for uh, v square into dv. So this will be the number of molecules in the range. So I think that you all, I think that you all know this uh, expression. This is well known expression. So this is in 3d case now using this generalized thing this is the main thing okay using this thing i can also prove the also uh, establish the 1d and 2d case so what will be that let us understand so in two dimensional case i can just write this this thing 
accepting the VZ components, right? Because here the uh, probability will be only for X component and Y component, okay? So the number of molecules in the given range will be equals to now in 2D case, okay? This is 2D and this is 3D. So now the number of molecules will be N into this, this will be and from here this. So n into f of y, f of vx, f of vy and dvx, dvy. Now dvx, dvy, this is what the area element in two dimensional case. The area element, what? What we know? 2 pi r into dr. This is what the area element in two dimensional case. How? You can easily uh, find that. Just integrate this. So what will be that? The integration will be over r. So r square means pi r square. Yes, this is the area of a circle in two dimensional case. So this is the small small area element in two dimensional case Sim like the same way uh, we have uh, proved that 4 pi v square into dv in three dimensional volume okay so for uh, 2 pi r into dr so this will be a n into f of vx f of vi this will be so a a square into e to the power minus b into vx square plus vy square and here the vx square plus vy square this will be our v square because this is two dimensional case. So into two pi r dr. So what will be the uh, two pi, sorry, v dv, v dv. This is in volume space. Uh, this is in velocity space. So this will be two pi n m by two pi kt whole to the power three by two. Sorry, whole to the power two by two because here it is two. So two by two means one. So this will be here will be the power one. This is the difference here. It, it was a three by two and here it is one in two dimensional case e to the power minus m by two kt v square. This will be same like 3d and here this will be only v and in 3d that was a v square into dv. So this is the dn in 2d and in 1d this is the simplest case so in 1d what will be that in a 1d now it is very easy to us to understand the 1d case so in 1d the this will be only n into f of vx dvx and this will be equals to n into m by 2 pi kt whole to the power half e to the power minus b sorry e to the power minus m by 2 kt v square into dvx means dv here in 1d case so this is the 1d form of the maxwell's velocity distribution function distribution function okay so i think that you have understood that how the 1d 2d and 3d expression changes Okay, this is the 3D, this is the 2, 2D and this is the 1D. So, this in this way, you have to understand only this form, this form. So, if you understand this form, then you can easily derive any, uh, in any coordinate like 1D, 2D and 3D, the velocity expression. So, I think that you have understand this video and share this video with your friends and take care of yourself. Thank you for watching.